All right, what the fuck is up? Um, let's uh, let's continue with the atheist challenge. Seven. Would the world be a better place without religion? Twelve. Yes, but only if it wasn't replaced with something equally damaging and equally dogmatic. Um, if that makes sense. <clears throat> You know, there's lots of things that can replace religion um, in that way, like communism or fascism. You know what I'm saying? Um, that that can be a replacement uh, for religion. Worship of the state or of some individual, you know, in a, in a non-religious sense. Um, but you know, taking at face value, yes, the world will be a better place without religion in more ways than I have time to fucking talk about right now. How do you feel about government and politics? 13. That's a hell of a question, bro. Um, you know, I, what do you mean? How do I feel about government uh, and politics? Um, I'm a constitutionalist, libertarian. I mean, I guess that's what you want me to talk about. How do I feel about the current state of politics? I mean, I need more info on this question. I don't like the current state of politics. I hope this answers your question, because I'm not really sure what 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 it is that you want me to, to tell you. If you could go back in time and kill Hitler slash Stalin as babies, so they will never kill the millions in the future, would you do it if time travel was possible? No, because... Uh, that was the best way to word this. First of all, I don't. I wouldn't know what the result of that would be. It could be something worse. Who knows? Um, you know, someone else could have taken the place of one of these people. All right. Um, so th there's no guarantee. And these events, while abhorrent, um, have contributed to history and to the change uh, that's, that's constantly needed in society. Um, I'd have to know beforehand what the fucking results were going to be, you know. Because trust me on this, Hitler and Stalin are not going to be the last people to kill millions of people like they did, alright? It'll happen again. It's happened before them, it'll happen again. It, 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 it won't change anything in the long run. Fourteen. Why is stem cell research so important? Uh, all kinds of cures that could be possible from it. We could cure, you know, they're talking about how it could help cure paralysis. They're talking about how it could uh, help cure, you know, things like autism and stuff like that or uh, cancer. How can you how can you pass that shit up? Um, even if there is just a, a one chance in a million, you still got to fucking try it. Any Any route possible, fucking take it. Fifteen is abortion evil. Sixteen. No, um, I don't consider. First of all, abortions that are that are uh, fucking done in this country is is when the fetus is, isn't really even fully formed. It doesn't really have a central nervous system. It's not a fucking human being. Okay, um, it's a fetus. It's just a lump of flesh. It has no thoughts or feelings. It, it is nothing. Um, so no, it, it's not evil. Um, and killing people isn't even necessarily evil. Um, it just depends on who you are. That, that's really a, um, a question that's dependent on the human being. Um, I'm not against killing in all situations. You know, um, like I said before, I prefer not to kill people because I don't want anybody to kill me. But then again, situations arise where if I did something, maybe I deserve to be killed. Um, but you know, no, I don't. I don't consider. I don't consider fetuses to be human beings. So no, I don't consider it to be the same thing as murder. What would the circumstances need to be for you to approve of torture as an individual? As an individual, as in me committing the torture, I don't know. Uh, if someone is holding. You know, would I approve of it? Would I do it if I thought I had to? Maybe. 
on a personal level, if somebody was holding, you know, my mother hostage and somebody knew where it was, I might beat the shit out of them to get the answer. But then again, I might not get the answer. Um, I don't. It's a tough fucking question. Um, I don't approve of torture uh, by the government at all. Um, and my circumstance that I just came up with is a very rare circumstance. So, I don't know. Take that answer as you will. 17. Should we try to save animals from going extinct? Hey. If it's our fault, then yeah. I think that's probably, you know the right thing to do. It's probably nice. Um, you know, there's a lot of things we need to keep from going extinct because they're required to keep the ecology in balance. We all live here. Um, you know, so in that situation, yes. Um, you know, yeah, I, I think we should do everything within our ability to, to keep things from going extinct. I think that's probably a good idea. Team. Do you approve of capital punishment? Explain. I've discussed this before, and this is something I haven't totally made my mind up about. Um, in most circumstances, no, uh, I don't. Um, there are very rare circumstances where I do. Um, probably. You know, fucking... Not because as a revenge thing or as a punishment, but there's some people that are just too fucking dangerous to be left alive. Um, a lot of people want to use capital punishment as, um, you know, as revenge, and that's not the right way to go about it. But some people are just too fucking dangerous to be left alive. Uh, like Osama bin Laden. If we ever captured Osama bin Laden, we should execute him. He is too dangerous to be left alive. It is too much of a fucking threat. Um, you know... Ted Bundy, you know, the motherfucker is just going to murder people. You go on a murdering spree. This person cannot be trusted anywhere, you know. That person should probably be executed. Um, you know, somebody who kills their wife or, like, kills somebody in a gang shooting, they probably don't deserve the death penalty because there's probably extenuating circumstances and there's no guarantee that this individual um, is going to do this shit again. So I hope that answers the question. 19. Do you believe in aliens, ghosts, spirits, souls, any supernatural forces? Um. Do I believe in aliens as in, do I believe that, um, you know, there's probably life somewhere else? Yes. Um, because that seems inevitable. The universe is a very big place. Um. Do I believe that aliens have come here? Not necessarily. I don't see why they would. And there's no guarantee that if there is aliens that they would be uh, advanced enough to do that. Um, I saw what I consider to be a UFO once. You know, um, I saw a light in the sky that did weird shit that aircrafts are not supposed to do. But I don't know what that was. So I don't assume it was an alien. It's a UFO. It's an unidentified flying object. Um, so, I don't know. I, I leave that one up uh, to be proved. Ghosts, um, I think there is a logical explanation for ghosts, and I think it's something that we don't understand yet. Um, I have ideas. The problem with ghosts is that real serious scientists don't seem to want to investigate it, which is a shame, because I think it could be interesting. Um, the only thing I've come up with that makes any sense in my head is that, you know, oftentimes places where people see ghosts have high uh, electronic, uh, you know, readings and shit like that, it's possible that there's, you know, there's magnetic fields on the earth that we don't understand and that maybe they fuck with our heads and we see things and, you know, if you're on a battlefield, maybe you see soldiers because you expect to see soldiers, you know what I'm saying? But I, I don't know. That's my guess. Um, souls, not in any traditional sense. Um, you know, you as you are in your head, I guess. I mean, I don't know. One, would you sacrifice yourself for a loved one? with the chance you may end up in hell for being atheist. 21. Explain in detail the process of death. 22. And this is a... Um, I, I, whatever, I just realized that it's going to cut off everything that I said, probably. So, you know, we'll, we'll 